Hey everybody, Lindsay here, and welcome to an absolutely new experience for this channel. I have my very first guest. Oh my God, hopefully this goes well, but it couldn't be with two better guys. It's the guys over from Cannibal Video. Thank you so much for, for being my first guest on my channel. This is awesome. Thanks for having us. It, it was a pleasure. Yep. Awesome. And what we did, we decided to do was uh, we would do a movie and its sequel. And we decided to talk about spiders and spiders too. And if you hop over to their channel is where we talked all about spiders. But right now we're going to talk all about its sequel, spiders Two: breeding ground. Even though they're not on ground, they're on oh, a they ship. Yes, I That's thought my they could have had a better thing. pun there. It's called breeding ground, and and there's, there's no, no ground, ground. There's zero ever. ground. The whole thing is at sea. It's amazing. Right. <laughs> Spiders too, breed control, and it should have. Right. Been... <laughs> but there was no jet skis. There was no jet no. ski chase. I was I was a little disappointed on that part. But but cool miniatures. So like oh, that's something. Oh yes. I would, it was adorable. They had the little miniatures with the actual spider actual, on it. Yeah. I loved that. That was fantastic. Great. My work will live on! So yeah, I mean, we can jump right into uh, um, just talking about the basic storyline of, of what this, this movie is. It has pretty much zero to do with the first one, except there's spiders. And yeah. there's some alien or yeah. genetic mutation experiments going on with spiders, but th there's no same characters. There's no plot through line or not anything even a loose like link. that. Nothing. Not even a loose link. Do they hint that the mutation is even like the same? Like this is the this is like the result of those experiments? I don't think so, right? I don't totally think so. Unlike. They don't say. They don't yeah. talk about the mother-in-law yeah. experiment. They do. do they, I don't even, mm. even remember if they talk about alien DNA or anything like that. They, they might off the cuff mention that, but I will not commit anything to it. I think yeah. like uh, Doctor Nightcourt says like nothing really <laughs> about Nightcourt. anything. I call him Dr. Bull in my notes. I was like, yes. Yeah. Exactly, what exactly, Dr. Bull. But I was so glad that he was in it. And don't give me any shit, Bigelow. You know what you're in for when you cash the check. Oh, yeah, yeah. he's he's so good at everything. He's, he's in. He he's is. He's an outlandish, weird, lanky dude. Just like just, how he oh touches gosh. people and like. Yeah, he's just made for movies like this. Yes, but, but I mean, like I said, the basic storyline is we have. Um, it opens up with like this party on a yacht with these random characters that look like they would never hang out in real life. It's so mismatched like the different people. Yeah. And they, they get kidnapped by pirates or something. And then the next or day we, we have our two main characters which are husband and wife. And through the course of events they get, they're, they're caught in a storm and their boat sinks and they get picked up by this giant freighter ship and things happen and there's secrets and <laughs> like you said dr dr night court <laughs> pulled in and on the, he's the doctor and um and just hijinks ensue on this on this uh giant floating rust bucket Indeed, and like Dr. Nightcore is not your only famous person in this movie. Uh, you have, uh, what's her name? Niz, Niz, Niznid, Stephanie Niznid, Niznid, Niz Niz whatever, Niz however you pronounce her name. Uh, like she has been in the forefront of like all of my IMDb searches recently because she died last year and she's in like yeah. the same thing that says like people who died last year. And she How was in like it? Everwood and um, uh, Star I, Trek. Yeah, I because I, yeah. I looked it up last night. I'm like, oh, she's dead. Um, yeah. But it didn't say how, and it didn't, I couldn't oh, figure out Oh, it was alcoholism when. led to, um, oh, what, was that your kidneys failing or something? Because she hasn't failure. been in a movie in the, le liver, liver, that's it. She hasn't right. been in a movie for like 10 years uh, prior to her death, like oh, wow. ballpark about. So I think she might've been suffering with something. Like like the family, like, like in the thing, it said like, the family has not disclosed what it was. And then it was like the doctor, like when you look up, like, how did she die? It says like, like uh, she said. was suffering from, yeah, some asshole, like, you know, just relieved it. Um, like, liver, liver, bro. <laughs> but I, I liked her i always thought she was cool she has like a unique look to her um yeah. her boyfriend in this is the is the dad from uh like rubber he's one of the the, the uh the host no, the, isn't the, he, the isn't guys the watching captain? it dan quinn i'm sorry i'm sorry the captain rather yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. and he's in the husband's um, like nobody the husband's yeah, like no, one episode the husband's of, in a of lot of episodes show. of random bullshit <laughs> yeah 
it's like, oh yeah, he was in like a 90210 or some shit. Like, yeah, right? he has a weird look to his, he's like an over actor. He, he like kind of bothered me through most of the movie. Poor man's wings guy. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Steven Weber. Everyone knows who I mean by, okay, cool. <laughs> now we'll I get a, an angry wings message wings in my guy. DMs from that guy. How dare you compare me to the guy from... <laughs> Well, I'm and then the, ca- the, cap- the captain of the ship looked like a discount Michael Bean, who's right mm. there. Ex- that's, what, that's what I called him. Um, because I, he, I don't he think that's wrong. Had, he kind of had that type of Michael Bean character also, where, yeah. you know, he's secretly an asshole. <laughs> like, he reminded like- me of the programmer, like, lead from, uh, like, How to Make a Monster. What of that guy that ran the group? I don't know what his name is. He went oh on to God. some success in, like, Desperate Housewives and stuff. So he's, like, an actor-actor. <laughs> but, but yes, th- that guy yes. That, that is the captain uh, or, or the boyfriend are both, like, kind of I- interesting characters. Captain Rafer, did you call him? Because <laughs> that's appropriate. Cap- I called him Captain Creeper, but I will also oh, accept yes, Captain, captain Creeper. Creeper, holy shit. I yeah, I was going to say, Raper. like, he's secretly a bad guy, but, like, very shallowly beneath the surface. The whole time, I was like, he's obviously a bad guy. What's wrong with you? Well, like, well, well, shave he's... your mustache, you weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> that is a bad mustache. A terrible mu- And I'm sure yeah, that was his mustache. choice. He's like, ah, I'm a captain. I need a mustache. Right? But they, they, okay, so they get rescued by this giant freighter ship that would never be able to stop to pick them up like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so they get on board and the husband, um, what's his name? Jason has like a cut on his neck. So they take him to How the How did he infirmary. get that cut? I have no idea. <laughs> I spent half the movie like he was bitten by a spider, wasn't he? <laughs> my my so favorite dumb. part of the movie no, is them like getting storm. up. Right? When they when they first get get picked up by the freighter, they they climb up the ladder and she falls and she's like, like oh, ooh! <laughs> like, like it's so dramatic. The noise she makes is hysterical, <laughs> and it's from four steps up. Like yeah, it's, you it, could have had her fall from like a million miles up, but it wasn't a real ship, so you couldn't. <laughs> They, they get him up there, they get him in the infirmary, and right away, Dr. Creeper to the wife is like, come take a shower in my cabin. Yeah. It's the only private shower on the ship. Conveniently, there's a cabin boy, though, like outside the window, and I like to believe Scary. that that is not the first time he looks into that window, because he, oh, no. he had the no. angle down, he knew he exactly knew what exactly, he was doing. exactly, exactly how to watch it. Yeah, <laughs> he's usually watching the captain, though, so he was like, who's this? I don't like this at all. <laughs> that was like a weird scene though, because like, like I understand like you you need that so on the back of your R-rated movie you could say for nudity and get yes. like you know the teenage boys to buy it or mm-hmm. whatever. But like it wasn't sexy. It was weird. It didn't feel like something that like an it wasn't actress like she's like an actress all. actress, yeah. not like you know weird like sexy girl number three. Model so like no. it didn't seem something like something that was in her wheelhouse or why she would do it. It just no. seemed kind of embarrassing. And I mean, we get titties later. Yeah. So- we get yeah, we, that, we that get several part. we get several sets of titties later, so I don't know why we needed to see her her butt in the shower. Those are also I mean, like not like sexual titties though. Those are like no, they're not medical. Oh, they're fluid for titties. a special <laughs> niche, the covered, covered in vomit crowd. <laughs> <Okay>. Yes, <laughs> not my thing, not my you know kink. So I so I was not into it, but yes, I would Hashtag say yes. Kink the, shaming, the like least <laughs> sexual nudity I've seen in like a B movie that touts like nudity. <laughs> Yeah. And that's all the right. cast from the first boat party are all the ones yes. that are like in those cryogenic oh, like, freezer okay. things. And that, yeah. that, that, when they're kidnapping those people on the boat, it made me laugh because they were just chucking those people into yes. the rubber boat. It was, I mean, they were doing it so <laughs> haphazardly. It was making noise yeah. that they're just blah, throwing them in no, there. And like, I think that's because they're they, food. Who gives a shit? That's true. That's but true. They, they literally go and like kidnap, hijack, whatever this boat, and the boat's like like from a foreign film in the seventies. Everyone is <laughs> yeah. so weird, and it makes well, I no think sense. that's because this was probably filmed yeah. somewhere weird right, like for money it, purposes it, 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 or tax thing, credits, right? and those yeah. are just locals because exactly. they have a real like weird song, like, like dirty Europe guy. like a yeah. vibe to them. Like oh, yeah, it had to have been, been probably Russia or or Bulgaria or something because there was something a lot that of, touches water. There was a lot of Dovraks and Slovak in. In the in the credits it oh, was shit. all russian mm. names when you first yeah. started talking i'm like ah is that the liquor they were drinking okay yes. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah it was it, it was it, it's such a weird way to begin it and then to have like those shifts 
where it's like we're on one boat there you know there's people okay forget about them they're dead fuck them okay yeah. we, have, we have we have a new boat we have new people oh there's a storm coming honey forget oh, God. That they, boat. just keep moving and moving so it's like 10 or 20 minutes in before you're even like are there spiders in this movie like what is <laughs> happening well, yeah, this one has even money. You can't just show the spiders right away. <laughs> well, it has more line, spiders yeah. per it capita. More spiders but, per but, capita. But, but yes, <laughs> okay. that's true. You get a little more spider bang for your buck in this one. Yeah, this has a very like uh, like they they blow up that ship because they don't want the evidence that they had been there. But he steals a part of the name. You got the name of the boat? Log something. All right, we're gonna have to call it in when we get to shore. Why like would it, he keep like, that? And I wasn't sure there's like a bunch of weird little mementos in that drawer. Does he keep something from every kill? Because he's he's like, you know, Trophies. Dr. Not Dr. He's Captain Creeper. Uh, <laughs> he went to captain school. <laughs> and, and like, that's his thing. Creeper. Like, I got to have a little bit of something to remind <laughs> me of what I did. Uh, and it just so happens that these people had seen it, took a picture of it. They know that the sign matches the thing. Yeah. Uh, weird. And um, the just... Okay, so they take him to the infirmary and then they go, to, there's the cafeteria scene and every one of those guys in there is like Creeper Central because That's she's- That's just the crew. Yeah, she's, <laughs> of she's the, movie. the only, of she's the the only woman on the ship and they get fed like this They're like, canned mm, alpha yeah. dog food. With like sliced carrots in it or yeah, something? I was like, I what the fuck is that? I don't know what that was supposed to be. It, it I wanted to try to it, gross. that weird. Got him. There you go, very special family recipe <laughs> it's like a pimento or something it's yeah like a weird, but it was a like whole a weird, carrot it was, it's like a weird loaf of meat or something it was like yeah. a pate mm. very yeah. classy very russian just it like was a just slop chunky. of beans <laughs> yeah. i was into it no one had a problem with that rat just running around i was like okay yeah. It made just, me think about rats and boats me. and stuff because that's like a thing you hear about. And I was like, after oh, yeah. a while, wouldn't rats just, what are they getting water? Wouldn't, I can understand they could like steal grain and shit and survive, mm -hmm. but what are they drinking? What are these rats surviving on? How long at sea could rats be there? <laughs> These are the I need the movie to answer these questions. Obviously, drinking the condensation from the machinery. Well, this I particular mean, ship was question. leaking water constantly. Steam this is like everywhere. it was its job. The boat should have sank <laughs> just by how much water was coming out of pipes. It didn't make any sense. Like spraying everywhere. Yes, yes, yes. And he's like, don't it's worry, unsinkable. Don't worry. Unsinkable. We got this one raft. We're fine. <laughs> and you knew when they mentioned that stuff. Unsinkable. Okay, it's going to sink. Uh, yep. We have a raft. Uh, we're going to need that raft. Like, yep. type of thing. And, and then to not, it didn't actually pay off exactly how you would have thought, but you kind of wanted like the boat to, to sink and like the raft to, to like be floating like around because like it yes. was like released or hitched, yeah, but it really wasn't. Your expectations. Yeah. Well, then the 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 husband like faints or whatever, cause, or he starts bleeding. That's what it was. So they're like, we need to get him to the infirmary again. And that's when the doctor starts giving him shots and stuff. But then he just keeps slapping a band aid over this and giant ripping wound. it off, yeah, just <laughs> like aggressively. Just, ah, fuck! That just slapped the band aid right off. He'll be all right, but he may have to stay in bed for a few days. Nothing too serious, nothing to worry about. Just keep him in bed and he'll be fine. He's there. praised for being such a real doctor, but I could have stitched that better than he did. Like it wasn't tight. Like I was like, what are yeah, you doing? No. I He's like, it keeps getting infected. It keeps getting infected. Yeah, because yeah. you're on a rusty ass boat and you're leaving an open wound with just, you know, just some Johnson and Johnson flesh colored bandages are wounds you know, more likely to get infected from being in the ocean or less likely there's a lot of salt i feel like that's, that's gotta be good for you it is but also but there's like microbes out. and horrible yeah. bullshit and stuff <laughs> and these are Blankton. phantom cuts that just appear he like has aids or something like it doesn't make sense like he's had lesions out of nowhere he didn't get cut by anything <laughs> no maybe and the then, ladder nicked him as he was going up or his wife's leg when she was storm. falling was by, the storm? by the storm <laughs> that the spiders sent because they wanted him because he was the perfect host. That perfect storm host. was so funny to me because like the guy like kind of predicted he's like, oh, this big storm's coming. Put on your life jackets and your raincoats. And then she stands outside and yeah. it's just getting rained on. I'm like, I don't think you understood what he meant. I think that was for a last, you know, worst case scenario was go outside and fall in the ocean. You just <laughs> jumped in the ocean like it was the thing to do. I was hoping it was going to turn into sleeping with the enemy. Like she was going to move to Iowa and get a completely new life. But then all of a sudden, spiders, oh no. 
that I kind of wanted him to get pulled down with the ship and die, and then she just shows up on this boat. Oh, I'm alone. <laughs> what the you you wanted the husband to die? Yeah, I didn't like him. I did too. Yeah. Oh, I wanted him to die so bad, but she seems so unconcerned about what's going on with him because every yeah. time something happens, she's like, "No, you're crazy, whatever." And the yeah. doctor keeps telling him, telling her he needs to rest, but then she's like out lounging in a deck chair and is like, "Give me a massage," and he does it, and then hey, you got to get you know, yours. <laughs> and he's like, "Honey, I'm bleeding," and she's like, "Don't stop, come on." I'm being impregnated. Yeah. I'm getting prepped to be impregnated by the spider. Can I go lay down for 10 minutes, please? Nah. <laughs> that whole know, business is so crazy. Like, like, what, like what, what do you think he was actually injecting him with? Because he actually, he, he wasn't infected with some sort of uh, no. thing. So like, was, were they just giving him like hormone? Because he said something like, ah, you'll be irresistible to them. And I'm like, it seemed the like hormones. it just injects into whatever comes in the room, unless you're the poor <laughs> bastards on the inside of the cage that are, are dead and mummified. I don't know yeah. how you decide what's what and what's going to happen. Well, yeah, it looked like it was saline solution or something that he was injecting him with um, or like soap water. But I, but, <laughs> just dirty dish water. But Gotta I gotta clean I, that corona out of them. Yes. <laughs> Here's some bleach. But I was just, I assumed that they, after, you know, what happens happens to the people that they impregnate, then they turn those bodies into food. And it's like, okay. Yeah, one, probably. A problem that I, that just clicked in my head is, okay. He has this like pseudo nightmare. It's not a night. He does have a pseudo I hate nightmare, nightmares. And it was so bad. But then he goes like sneaking around and he finds the freezer where yes. all these dead bodies are. So he goes and wakes up his wife and she's like, you're fucking crazy, you go lay down, whatever. And he's like, I'll show you these dead bodies, come with me. And within 10 minutes, they have like 20 slabs, sides of beef hanging there instead of people. Yep. And I'm like, if no. you have big sides of beef hanging up, why are you eating that dog shit that you're serving <laughs> people? I well, assume that going. there's right. little bits of that inside the dog food they're, they're eating. Grinding it like, up. yeah, like, no, yeah. no, no. so <laughs> much. But I that thought is a crazy say, amount of meat. I thought you were going to say that it's crazy for them to have switched it so fast. And oh, like, that, that, that also, that no, 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 no. also. But you have to understand the room, the whole room turns. It's like Scooby Doo. Oh, the whole, the whole yes. room <laughs> turns into a different room for that. Bowl. I hate the that dream. My biggest pet peeve with dream bullshit is when a dream is just like someone dreaming reality of something they've never seen before, mm -hmm. picture in picture perfectly for what is going to happen. He yes. dreamed a giant spider, and that was a giant spider. And I maybe I missed it. I was actually going to rewind. Dream? Well, I, that's what I'm, that's what I'm, I'm sitting here he like, had a thing he had on, lesions on, on him, but yeah. he also had phantom cuts on his neck. So this guy's just spurting wounds left and right. I can't believe anything I'm seeing. I don't know. I can't believe your skin at all. Right? And, but he saw them like wheel him into that walk-in closet thing mm -hmm. that was there. That had, like so much of that lab was, looked like someone's walk-in closet because it had like the slatted doors and everything. Yes. But it also had what seemed to be the, like the hold was a part of the ship. The elevator yeah. had like 50 floors, it seemed. And every yeah. one of those floors was inside this lab. Because when, when she runs, it's into a, like, a cargo yard where yeah. it's just hundreds of those gigantic 40 foot containers and like at one point you see the spider's pov as he's climbing down him and i'm like he is on like 10 high yeah and this lab it can't be a sterile environment that then opens to the whole fucking world and anything right? that may have been carrying and if you well, did indeed have yeah. that many carrying uh you know cargo hold things what are, i don't shipping containers is what they're actually yes. called uh it, it wouldn't have been sitting like you know high in the in the water it it, it had a full load of cargo yeah, unless they're just well, empty containers which I why would you go empty. through the trouble of that and and that goes against and, what they're even saying in the movie because he's like oh, i noticed you have such a light load how is that cost yeah. effective and i'm like there's the whole fucking front of the ship spilled a shipping containers is it a light load because i noticed from the depth marks that you're riding kind of high in the water good observation the they outside and inside spiders. appear to be okay full. why are they hoarding all these spiders Show anyway what are they breeding these spiders for he keeps, he's got a he, million he, of them he takes the he like births the spider and he puts it into a little a little compartment right which i think that's that's what all, all i have to believe for. and i've added this in my head they've never said anything to to uh you know to allude to this that there's some sort of like cyanic radiation coming out of those little boxes that keep them from growing because the moment they get out of that they're fucking gigantic yeah they get like, huge <laughs> doesn't make any sense. Why'd that happen? No, I have a working theory Let's hear of this movie about why they're on a boat. Because, you know, they need to, to stay away. They don't even talk about, oh, we have to be in international waters or no. anything like this. 
my thinking is that this is originally written that it takes place in space. Ooh. But they had no budget to be able to do the things that they wanted to do, I you like know, it. like rescuing people from, you know, they from like some kind of the airlock, vehicle, the, thing. the airlock, the yeah. thing, all yeah. that stuff. Because oh my God, whoever wrote this ripped off so many things from the entire alien franchise. Yeah. <laughs> it's just insane i would have loved to see the connection though if it was space where it's like a random drifting shuttle <laughs> like right? help me fire the flare, <laughs> fire the flare. Uh, enable the distress beacon because i mean i mean there's so many scenes where i'm like oh that's that thing from alien oh that's that thing from aliens oh that's that thing from alien resurrection that's that thing from aliens 3 i mean i could go on and on and on about every little thing that they pulled out of each one of those movies for this it's just crazy there is a connection to the first movie with though like i said that I, that I, so the chest bursting thing that happens in this, yes. in this movie uh is shown in the first movie but they don't explain it at all no so, so like this is the only real connection to the movie but it only throws more wrenches into the into the whole thing because you're like okay right? if they do burst out of the chest as we've seen in the canon spiders 2 uh spiders 1 showing our in space chest cavity explosion <laughs> should tell me there's more uh things so we don't necessarily know the timeline and that's maybe that true. stuff did happen and they something whatever Whatever. but in this be. movie they're like held in these cryogenic like things for when the birthing happens yeah to like contain it but then immediately upon the birth they open the thing up and they take the body out and they, they throw it you know into whatever yeah so what's the purpose whatever. of keeping the baby doesn't seem to be pulled out of the out of the thing it seems like it walks to the foot of the container they open it up and it must just skitter out because yeah. later on we see one skitter out the first one though i was like there's doctors in this room where did the baby go no one touched the baby <laughs> What do you just let it go? They are safe behind the laundry room divider that we yes. talked about earlier. <laughs> that is hundred percent secure. It's a spider cage. Get the door. I hundred percent secure unless there's a blackout of any sort. Then all the doors open. Yeah, right? and it goes beep. This is a thing that movies <laughs> do all the time, and I'm like, I I hate it so much because things that are appropriate for like your standard doors in a hospital during a fire don't apply if you're holding monsters. No, no, not in a lab setting. You don't need them to escape. <laughs> Let them die. What do you mean? That's the last thing you would want, honestly. Like you're in a fire, and all of a sudden monsters are out. You're like, oh god, it's coming at me from all ends, and we're on the water. Oh, we're sinking. How did that boat not sink in the beginning? It doesn't make any sense. They threw a grenade in it, and it just charred itself and stayed blank. Well, it, it turned into CG. That's how it didn't sink. Oh, CG is weightless. You see, it's, it's, it's completely weightless. Yeah. It does make sense. The spiders look weightless too. I yeah. get what you're saying. Oh my gosh, but um, and then. There's so many weird, like, sexual tension scenes between the wife and the captain. Like, they're doing that impromptu photo shoot. Oh, yeah. And and they're, she's talking about, well, how come you don't have a wife and blah, blah, blah. And he's like, oh, well, there was this girl. And you remind me of her. And then we get the, 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 the stock rusty gate sound effect <laughs> for the husband to interrupt them. In a great way. In a great way. <laughs> In a great way. <laughs> but he is constantly leaving her alone with this creepy captain. That's He's also constantly being impregnated by spiders. So, like, let's give the man a little bit of a break. I, I put some fault <laughs> on the wife who's like co totally flirting yeah. with this dude. Like, she goes totally. out to dinner with him. She's defending yeah. him. If you I don't take your husband's you side, why are you even married? And I'm not no, like, cause... not a, so, a chauvinist pig way of like, oh, anyone no. you're with should be the person's side you take, even if they're a little crazy. Like, you married them till death, no. man. But I love the husband's reaction when she interrupts the photo shoot because she says goodbye, Jim. And he's like, oh, you're calling him Jim now? And what's he, call what's he calling you, Schmoopy? Yeah. Jim, huh? That's great. What's he calling you now, Schmoopy? That was one of my and favorite he was. Lines of we both and he know. was. He when, was, like, his, totally. His pet name for her is my bestest friend, I believe. Oh my God, yes. Which is super yeah. corny and cringy. So I'm like, no, she wants a nice, strong captain there. But the captain yep. is constantly being like, here's a red flag. And here's a red flag. Here's, another, like, flag. here's another red flag. <laughs> like, oh, thank you. These are such nice flags. It's all. And here's a red light in my dark room. And you're like, what yes. the fuck? Why do you have a dark There's room a dark on this room. boat? <laughs> Right. I thought about this too because the ship was also used for like surveying or something or like Ooh. national geographic like photography. There's some reason that a ship like that would have a dark room. Thank that you. is such a specific pull with no backup. <laughs> Made it up. 
I will I will acknowledge it and allow it. I had a lot of time waiting for the spiders to think about like what what is going on in this movie. Was it not C- only not uh, only did they have a dark room, they had all the chemicals and everything just oh yeah, stocked ready, and ready to go. To go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They had lots of stuff here. Well, they had four months worth of meat on a ship that was supposed to be going from point A to point B, but they've just been circling. And to say yeah. it works for a company is very strange because that's a line you didn't need to include because it's really dumb. Sir, it's a company. They want to know when to expect this. Tell them when I find out, they'll be the first to know. What yeah, and that's, a, that's another thing that, that's taken right out of Aliens. The company... This mysterious shadow company is okay. running these yeah. experiments and, and and everything, and with it seems like in the first one it was more like military, like we're going to take over the world or defeat our enemies, and in this one it seems to be more like we're going to cure every disease. Yeah, with the research crazy that doctor we're doing. versus like yeah. the U.S. government. It was more Doctor yeah. Moreauish, yeah, than yeah. anything else. It wishes it was Doctor Moreau. Wi- <laughs> What I am doing will redefine genetic science and one day benefit all mankind. But I do, I mean, I hated the husband character. He really got on my nerves, but I did like that they actually, there was like this B marital drama plot going on at the same time as this, oh shit, spiders thing going on. You never got any really vibe of caring at all. And I mean, no. as an audience member for the characters or the characters for each other. Like no, they really not at didn't all. play that up for, for like, you know, people that are actual actors in this movie. Like the other movie didn't have real actors. No. This one, I'm like, okay, you, you can call out a lot of people for being an actual thing. Like, mm-hmm. oh, that, that's the guy from Scanner's Cop. Okay, cool. <laughs> like these are, these are people, um, and, but I just, you got there's no connection or no caring because like there wasn't a lot of involvement like, there's no character development i wasn't no, like oh no. yes her photography and like that's another thing all movies have shitty cameras like this is like an underwater yeah, camera the- she's not a photographer <laughs> no it she's like not she was, it looked like she was taking a picture with the thing that has the disc with the pictures <laughs> in it and you <laughs> oh, it's, oh, it's a tiger hey, please, it's, it's a rhinoceros <laughs> that's exactly what it was it was very funny but i mean they did turn to throw in some exposition like what they'd been through but it was I had very, cancer potentially yeah, years yeah, ago because our yeah. hair is so fucking long and because it, it was like in the room where like oh I definitely have cancer let's never mention it again why do these things always happen to us first I almost die of cancer then we both almost die in the storm yeah. and I mean she brings it up at the at the 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 completely problematic dinner date that she has with mm-hmm. the captain um where she's like, oh, I haven't drank since, you know, since I, I got better. Sounds like, like you're but, new. And he like, so, yeah. Away. So you're going to get drunk with this guy, but you're, you wouldn't have a drink with your husband or anything like that. It's like, yeah. what the fuck are you doing, he lady? He says you should at least have a sip as he pour, glug, 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 pours his like giant glass of wine. It's amazing. It's like, you are being so rapey right now. Let me get you drunk in, uh, we're on a ship in the middle of nowhere. Your husband's getting impregnated by a spider. And implications not forcing anything <laughs> implications. implications and then she'll be forced to spend the rest of her life with me on this spider he tool. even phrases yeah. it that way so yeah, we'd like to do like, this forever <laughs> what the hell are you talking about we're you know you and me together forever you and me in a deep blue sea <laughs> who would want to do this for for even one more minute let alone for uh, there's no forever. entertainment on this boat oh she God. stands there and looks at clouds like <laughs> all day and that's just like, you know, the alleged two week journey to runs Fiji or wherever the hell they're going. So like, I can't imagine doing this for life. There's not even like anything in the, the captain's like room. There wasn't like entertaining shit around. No. He didn't have like a, like, you know, a VHS player. He had, he had nothing. Yeah. You're, this is your life, bro. It's a monopoly Be game. Be prepared. You have a book? <laughs> Come on. And I, I just Some have scrabble. this piece of a, of a sign. I'm good. <laughs> what? Oh, we haven't talked about one of my favorite characters in the movie and that's Toothpick Henchman. I told him it was a false alarm. Everything's under control this time. He's gonna be more trouble than he's worth. Yep. Yeah. I loved that guy. He was that, great. that was his his downfall was the toothpick. Oh, but oh my god! After she stabs him in the cheek with the toothpick, he takes that sucker out and sticks it right back in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I thought we were going to see a Jason <laughs> Lee moment when he gets pulled away. I wanted his toothpick to be on the ground and he'd be like, mm, mm, like reaching for it. I was going to say, did you think it was the same toothpick and the bloody end must be in his mouth? Yes. Or did he just load a new toothpick? Oh no, no? same toothpick. Okay. He's been working on that That, that yeah. was the same toothpick, but he does have a little belt thing that goes like click, click, and he could dispense toothpicks. That's what I picture. Yeah. Oh, okay. Making change things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes. 
Now, this guy was great. But the highlight for him was something very subtle for me. When the captain is like, uh, I'm the only one that can help you. Come on, whatever, to like the wife and stuff. You can see out, you know, out of focus in the background, the henchmen are there. And that guy starts cracking up. He starts laughing like, oh, this dude's, this dude's goofy. Oh, my God. He, start, he like can't contain himself. And I don't know if that's the character doing that or the actor doing that. Or they just caught him great. in the background. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Didn't know he was in the shot. I'm the only one who's going to help you on this ship. I liked okay. Igor, as I called him, the one who yes. we see like in the opening shot doing like the Jurassic Park raptor feed, like mm -hmm. throwing the, the body in there, or like the random guy who like, no I don't speak English. I, he, I don't think he had any dialogue whatsoever. He gets chewed out and just stares. Yeah. Like, he yeah. just he may of, have one or two words, but yeah, pretty much no dialogue. He just looks we, the part. We see him pantomime a bunch of stuff to like- No, no, that's the and, other guy. Oh, that's, that's, the, uh, that's the creeper guy that's, that keeps uh, peeking around corners and I, stuff. I, I, I think I, I wrote down Miho for that guy. You speak English? No English. Did you catch there's like a either it's CG or a painted area where they made the hallway look like yes. it was super long? That was that was definitely like a blown up picture that they just stuck there. I like that. I like that, that was, a lot. That was a that was clever. That was clever. I also think it's just the same like she comes down like multiple floors, but I think it's like the big bang theory thing where it's like oh, yeah. go down the stairs, change like a pot. Okay, go down the stairs again. <laughs> You're now another floor down. Oh, we can make this go all day. <laughs> I, I like Definitely little things like that. Is. I think this one also had the, like the same thing the first one had going for it. We're like the, the sets looked pretty good. Like, oh yeah, it's you know probably by and large just a large boat and a miniature of a boat, mm -hmm. but it sold. It, it worked. It, it was serviceable. I never was like ah you're in a high school now and you're saying no. you're on the high seas. Like no, they definitely passed. they definitely had access to a boat. It was probably like anchored in some port in bulgaria just rusting to shit and they're like oh yeah. we can use this thing but it was actually sunken in dock it wasn't at port <laughs> yes it was scheduled for demolition for them to take it apart piece by piece they didn't add that dripping that was out. just there <laughs> that was just how it was <laughs> like, no the rustier the better we'll just write it into the script it's fine <laughs> and also okay so the doctor he gets impregnated the husband does and he yes. gets put into the little stasis machine but then for each person the doctor uh, makes an antidote your blood will be the basis for your personal vaccine in the off chance i want to keep you around for a little while longer. in case i need to keep you and i'm like it's an antidote for pregnancy what is that it's plan b like what, what are you saying what? at what it's point like is it allowed to go in so you're saying antidote they call it a vaccine which makes no oh, yes, sense vaccine, it bothered yes. me so much it was it, so it stupid. should have been called the antidote but yeah it's yeah. the antidote to being to like potentially having a spider that that must be growing inside of you and destroying yeah. your body slowly it's like is he gonna so shit like, it out in three days or something what's gonna yeah. happen i think they used the words antidote and vaccine because I I, yes. I I i believe the first time he mentions it he says antidote and then the next time he says vaccine because i i wrote down is it an antidote or a vaccine and yeah. and either <laughs> I'm just crazy or that's a real thing but yeah that's it, it doesn't make any sense and like she risks her life to get this vaccine while leaving him just in a lifeboat yeah where everyone has died ever and, and I'm there's like, spiders he's just everywhere surrounded by deadly spiders. away the doctor dies and she goes yeah. right here and I'm like it's right there what are you doing <laughs> It's like I understand they need an they need an antidote because they need a way for the husband to live. Sure. I wanted him to fucking die. Yes. But no, she totally go it's the total end of aliens. She's going back in to save Newt. Mm -hmm. I mean, Ripley had an over under flamethrower, but she had a pointed stick. Oh, I have to, Jason. I have to. I love you. <sighs> Stay here. So she's yes. going to be just She had playing. like the stick that like teachers use to pull down the map. I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> but she's, it, it's total tank top time. Oh, of so course. So she means business. We need a cue card that says total tank top time. Total <laughs> tank top time. Yeah. This is actually the thing that both movies have in common. Is, is, yes. Is, is that tank is top the... time and like the badass uh, chick like going to save the day. The I mean, best like visual does stuff. happen during tank top time. Right when she gets the antidote, they're, like she's like, ah, oh, the antidote. And there's a jump scare. 
one of the very few in the whole thing. And, and then the, the spider, like, like she, she dive rolls, yes. which I'm like, ah, aggressive. And then th there's a like skittering scene of CG spider that I'm like, oh, you put all the money into that scene because that one looked good. Looked pretty good. Like yeah. that was a passable scene for like last year. Like I was like, okay, <laughs> that was pretty good. Uh, but almost all the rest of them are like god awful looking. So terrible, so terrible. They're like, especially when they're showing the wide shot of the boat with the the CG spiders all over it none of them are they're like all blown up to different proportions and <laughs> yes. some of them are fuzzy some of them are not walking through terrain and yeah, dancing around just, on things it looks like they're on a flat surface all that kind it, of it thing. jumps from uh, being a actual tarantula to like you know, a war bug <laughs> tarantula. and then uh, also, when she goes down to rescue her husband the first time and she's shutting off the power, uh -huh. which for some reason shuts everything off and opens all the electronic doors, I guess it's like Jurassic Park or something. <laughs> there's that guard. And so all the spiders get out and there's that yeah. guard that's by the main lab door. How does he get killed by the spider from the first movie? Well, because they totally, they, use, they totally <laughs> used footage from the first movie. As I was surprised that Kingleton. more things weren't used because this was only made yeah. one year after the first. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> it, it may have been filmed so far away that it wouldn't have been practical to bring a lot of those effects with you. But True. It, it like it's I'm like you had them. You could have easily done stuff because they used cool. it. They used at least two shots from the original movie, and one of them was that guy's death. He gets killed by the spider in the first movie. Uh -huh. <laughs> Can I catch that? It's awesome. <laughs> It's, it's so good. The spider was so inconsistent that I think you could uh, you could not notice things like that because there it, were so it, many different. Ones. They were changing True. dramatically, mm -hmm. and and like at one point it's just like a glove crawling out of people's bodies, and like <laughs> like it doesn't really have legs and doing shit. I'm like, okay. Well, you, I mean, you, you, you never really get a, a good picture of a, a whole spider too until the end. You know, you yeah. just get like the face and a few of the arms because it's it has. They're so dainty when they eat. Because when they throw that first body down there, it just like takes its one leg and just unwraps it. Yeah, like it's opening a. You expect it to have like something. a fork and a knife. <laughs> Put putting the bib on. Yeah, it didn't seem like, like it was even large. It was too large to get out of the door. But yeah. it does. It does get out of the door, and you're like, okay, yeah. uh, I, I guess it can. There's, there's sophisticated spiders. You know, they do Pilates. <laughs> But when she pulls him out of that stasis chamber, the husband like has zero fucks to give anymore. Yeah. And she's like, where's the dagger? He's like, I don't fucking know. <laughs> so that's like his attitude for the rest of the film. He's like, let me go back to sleep. I'm dead anyway. Care. There's a spider in me. Leave me alone. You didn't believe me. So fuck you. I'm out of here. Tell me that is not going to happen to you. When? When? I don't know. Ask our doctor friend over there. So Alan. And like, it's not like it, it, it's crazy to not believe certain aspects of his story, true, but true. like she didn't believe any of his story. Like, Nine. and was even comfortable when he was like, he's like, I don't know, they're doing, they're selling drugs or something. Like, okay, that's bad. But like, I don't know what you wanted her to do. It's it's not like raising I, yeah. a stink is going to do anything. So I could see I, the flying no, under the radar I, aspect here. I, I, I liked her reaction. Cause like, usually they're like, we got to do something. And I'm like, no, you don't just chill until you get support. What are you doing? Like, so what? They're selling drugs. Just go with it. And, and that was her, her like standpoint was like, um, uh, she says at, at one point, I don't see why we have to, to, to do anything. Why don't we just chill? Yeah. Right? Cause like, there's oh, no right idea. answer. There yeah. is no right answer. I mean, I would have. I, if if my husband if I was in this situation especially when he like pulls up his shirt and he's got that weird new sore thing and she's like oh you just probably banged it on the side yeah, of the ship cool. or something we didn't I'm see like, him shirtless before did we like that you would have noticed his shirt came up but I don't think it came up that high like when the possible. doctor does his examination he likes like puts his whole hand into their abdomen yeah. he's like <laughs> is he searching <sighs> for like where he's gonna put the you expected the, there to be checking something. to yeah. see if there's enough room in there for a spider. Oh my yes, God. Yes, yes. <laughs> just like, what But the, the answer is there's never enough room because it bursts its way out. It's not right. like it lives in there for a while. Ow. Next, please. But I mean, we, we did get an improvised flamethrower at least. Yes. That was fun. I, w I mean, we did get a guy on fire at the very beginning. 
uh-huh. which always elevates a movie in my mind. But we did get the improvised flamethrower and it, they did light a real, not real spider, but you know, practical spider on Something fire. Something was on fire. But the, the CG flames were just not- They good. blocked themselves <laughs> into that room with burning debris and then just yeah. walked out of the room. <laughs> She also, okay, says, you know. she also says something like, I think we got it. And then it cuts to like just endless flames, everything engulfed in flames, everything on fire. It was great. At least in this movie, they did make a reference earlier to things being flammable. And so he puts the lighter down. So I yes, mean, they, yes. they at least they at least connected the dots on that. There's a lot of there. setup in this one and yeah. an actual payoff. I mm -hmm. like that. But what they do in this one, which uh, they didn't do so much in the first one, is, is they totally ignore the web strength. She does yes. the whole this and just spreads the webs. And it's spread. There's webs everywhere. everywhere. Like, like the, the in, they can teleport like the first one because the <laughs> moment they've been released, the entire facility is coated in webs. People are dead everywhere. They're, they're hiding in cabinets. They're in the kitchen. They're in the dining. They're everywhere. And you're like, everywhere. what? How? These things are so fast. Are no doors closed? No, because I mean, one gets all the way up to the bridge yeah. where the, the captain is. Okay. And oh I my God, the way it kills him. I'm like, did, did no one hear things? This is gigantic. It doesn't know right? to be silent. And I love how him and the doctor are killed because all of a sudden they just have fang boobs. Yes. They have yeah. fang tits and they Coming get drug away. Yeah. <laughs> Both times. It's you just gotta do fang it. and a fang. Practical fangs, digital <laughs> spider. That's how I run. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> When she, okay, so she's down in the hole and she's gonna blow it up. She's got the vaccine and she she turns on the, whatever flammable liquid that is. I'm assuming it's kerosene or something like that. There's like, like one that. that has a fucking opening thing. Yeah. Like the rest of them don't. I'm like, that's just no. there to blow up the boat. Exactly. And she throws the thing. I could not figure out what she says. It's like, she said something, something bitch as a one-liner, oh. but I couldn't make it out oh, at all. I did know what it was, but I can't remember. Cause it's, it was super garbled and there was like a loud sound effect. So I couldn't catch it. Um, but she does have another one liner later. So she makes up for it. MVP for funny spider moment is when she's getting on the elevator and it's like, hold the door. <laughs> Wait, it wait, like wait. knows <laughs> so funny like whenever there's just the like individual practical effect of a spider like doing something it it's unintentionally the funniest shit ever because oh, yes. it, it's it's so far extended and doing things <laughs> it's like when, in, when a movie shows like like a cat or a dog's paw do something you're like yes. what the hell just this like, Tammy the t-rex taking the t-rex take, take, yeah taking the change out Oh, it's so goofy, but it's it's also so good. Do you uh, like how the how when they're uh, when they're first attacking the boat, like like the 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 crew dressed up like uh you know pirates are, are attacking? They're tying everybody up with gaff tape, and I'm like, ah, yeah. oh, yeah. how nice of them! Tape that doesn't stick. Yes, that would be nice if I was an actor. I would appreciate. That. Yeah, that's, but it's that's such how a specific... I took it. Was like we we have gaff tape on set, so I guess we're just gonna use that. They, they it's went such by a tape. specific Fuck. and expensive tape. Yeah. That and like the actors are these nameless, faceless people that you're gonna like you know put in a box in a minute, throw overboard. It's weird to show them that courtesy. I like or, it, but it's or weird. They were like, "Oh shit, we forgot to buy duct tape." Uh, hey, yeah. crew guy, more give me likely. Gaff tape. Give me your gaff tape. We and he's like, "This is twenty dollars a roll." I was like, "Yeah, this is." You're gonna reimburse me, expensive. right? Yeah. <laughs> don't expense it. Don't. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I like the "I hate spiders" line. Is said a couple times. Like when the first foreign guy says it, you almost expect like, "Ah, he'll he'll be involved in some spider stuff. That'll be a Ooh. callback." <laughs> no. <laughs> What the hell did you do that for? I hate spiders. <laughs> we do get a couple more. Uh, I, I think, I don't remember who says it, but someone says I got a, fa a bad feeling about this at one point, but I can't remember which character said it. So that's it's another Writing thing. Writing in the references. Little, yeah. little connection to the first one. There is the most brutal green screening effect where they mask the the girl into the ocean. Um, yes. Like very early on. Like she's just like there, like like around like, like 10 minutes in or nine minutes, whatever. She's just like, 
and you can like see the effect around her. She's like not in the water. It's it's a very weird choice oh because gosh. they they had access to water at some point, but I guess they yeah. couldn't get it choppy enough or something. I guess. Uh, and they had to add it in for no reason. A lot of those things I'm like, okay, that's weird. I thought until you saw the miniature with the uh, tarantula on it, their miniature was pretty good. Like in the first yeah. shot, it sold where I was, I was like, oh, wow. Okay, that's mm -hmm. pretty decent. How'd they get that? And then you're like, they didn't, they didn't get that. That's how, oh, no. oh. <laughs> good answer, good answer. Oh, come on. <sighs> but yeah, then um, they get in the rescue boat. And it's like, okay, 30, 30 seconds to minimum safe distance. They have to get away from the, the main ship before it explodes. Mm -hmm. And there, there was only one tiny explosion at first. And I'm like, there was like 12 barrels, but somehow 12 barrels completely explodes through this iron hull. I mean, it is rusted to hell. It does, yeah. It does look like it's made of paper mache. So. And, but then it keeps exploding underwater somehow well, some of that makes sense because as explosions reach other parts of the ship like once you got to the engine room there'd probably be a big explosion yeah. then there's the actual gas tank of the ship well because i mean they show the whole of actually that'd probably be diesel that wouldn't explode at all this is all full of shit <laughs> wait a minute they show, they show the hole in the boat underwater and mm -hmm. you just see flashes of explosions through this yeah. hole so i'm like what the what's going on in there i don't remember this part because i had fallen asleep i think <laughs> I was no longer interested in this movie at all. Uh, this finale. There's a point right there where uh, she's like, we're like, oh, well, oh, good, we're in the lifeboat. And it's like, mm, and like slowly moving. And then it's like, it like breaks or stops. And it's like, honey, we have to jump. And the whole stupid thing to get into the water. Oh my God. The big, big spider at the end. I hate the whole thing there, right? It's just, uh... Yeah, that, I was like, what the hell is going on? So, okay. so they, the, the Coast Guard comes mm, in, in their, in their, Russian helicopter comes in and they're starting to get pulled up and then a shipping container surfaces and a big spider jumps sure out does. and grabs her leg and it's pulling so hard that it one snaps her thing so she's hanging on to her husband and yep. it's also pulling the helicopter down and I'm like how is this not ripping her body in half? If it's pulling on a oh, several ton helicopter, how is this not pulling yeah. her in half? She is Ripley, so I believe that. But, but once she's grabbing her husband, I'm like, no, his his fragile body would just He tear couldn't in half. take it. He's just yeah. had a spider. He's still got that spider in him, so right. there's a big cavity. Yeah, so this is something they do in, in lots of movies. People don't seem to realize how difficult just holding your own body weight up is, let alone holding others and having the friction of two giant forces. What are you, Captain America holding a <laughs> helicopter at bay? Like, this is such bullshit. Her, her clothing would rip off, her leg would rip off, the rope would rip off, the wench would rip off, the, yes. like everything would happen. So many things would this happen. This is not a good ending for a normal movie it is a great ending for a bad movie because it's yes. so stupid if you're going to make this a good movie you would see the shipping container float up they would take off and and that, that would be all you saw the credits would mm -hmm. happen then the then the credits would have a post credit the the you'd see that shipping container on a beach and yes. you would and it would just pan sideways and you would see this like the scuttle marks in the sand and mm -hmm. that would be it that's the ending you gotta the pull third a deep one's coming yes yeah, so you gotta pull a deep rising you know you, you yes. think you're fine and then all of a sudden you hear this loud roar <laughs> This looks like a nice enough place. There's no second deep rising. I know such that, that bullshit. Is so good. That and really they would so have good. no chance in surviving. Like they no. would have to meet like island people or something. Right? Like I don't know what the goal would be there. <laughs> but yeah, oh, such bullshit. Right. But then, so they have the hand grenade on board the helicopter and this glove helicopter, box hand grenade. <laughs> glove box hand grenade. The holy the, hand grenade of Antioch and, or something. And the guy's like a hand model. He like takes it out. He's like, hmm, yes. Oh, look at this. Yes. See the yes. hand. Okay. Cool. Yes. And they somehow drop it to her. She says, you know, she's like, give it to me. And they hear her and she drops it perfectly Into in the mouth, mouth of the spider. Yeah. Oh, like back the first. One. oh, yes. And says, eat this. Do it in the mouth. 
that's so stupid one. because like a why do you like this is a rescue ship why do you have a grenade it's not yeah. like it's not like a smoke grenade or something no. that like like oh this is how we signal where we are for pickup like it's it's not a it's not like a you know a flare it's no. an actual grenade. actual grenade and he doesn't <laughs> drop it at this monster that's ripping their their you know their their aircraft out of the sky he's like mm. and she's like <laughs> and then, like, and well, then she, she drops it. You rely on her, who's yeah. who's being mangled by a stranger. two-ton monster. Yeah. She says, "I think just throw it to me," as if he's like tried yeah. other things. Yeah. And now it's like, just let me do it. And I'm like, "Lady, I'm 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 right in the middle of this here. It's 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 great." We don't have a backup hand grenade. We only have the one. You saw its little box. Yes. You no, know, we only have one. Which is also oh, kind of a callback to the one. Uh, you have helicopters that have large explosive devices inside them. Yes. That's, that's every, gotta be. <laughs> every pilot gets to choose before each mission what their loadout should be. And this guy chose one. I would one almost grenade. believe it in the oh. Russian helicopter that that's they're like, true. we must be prepared for bears. Like, like something has to happen. <laughs> we but... have grenade. Let's go. <laughs> what is this for? <laughs> well, if, uh, if we're crashing the plane, we just uh, like pull the... <laughs> It's like, what? These are our, we put this under the seat. That's how we eject. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, no, another great finale. I, I prefer the finale of the first one. It is it is constructed Absolutely. a little better and, and a little more fun. Um, but this one w w didn't disappoint. It's the more outlandish for sure. Oh, and, yes. and that's definitely something to write home about. Like oh, if, yes. you, if you told somebody you're trying to sell them on a bad movie and you go, there's a part where a giant spider <laughs> is holding onto a woman's foot as she's being pulled into a helicopter and he's holding the helicopter at bay. Right? Well, yeah, how would they solve such a situation? They drop a grenade in its mouth. <laughs> okay, I'll watch that movie. I'll watch that like, movie boom. right now. <laughs> like, and, this, and this was my first experience watching the sequel. I didn't know there was a sequel. Oh. And evidently there's a third one. Wait a minute. I don't know there's a third one. There's a what? third one. It's on Tubi. I have not watched it yet. There is a Spiders 3. I don't remember what the name. There's a, you know, there's a secondary title. Let me look it up here. <laughs> Spiders 3, three The War at Sea, but it takes place in a desert. <laughs> it is Spiders 3D. Yes. Is that actually related? The city is crawling. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. So I'm well, I'm we got to come gonna, back for that. One. I know we, I got to watch that one. Then this one, it says after a Soviet space station crashes into a New York City subway tunnel. A species of venomous, venomous spiders is discovered and soon they grow to gigantic proportions and wreak havoc on the day. So oh my God. we're in subway tunnels this time. It's directed by the guy who did the gate. <laughs> the first gate? What the fuck? Yes. Right? So Why I'm not? all on board the spider. I have never franchise. been more interested. <laughs> it's the guy who did Mansquito. Oh my God. <laughs> yes. Wait, who does it star? Anybody? I, I don't, don't think so. Let the me, name looks oh, familiar, shit. so I was like, We've been oh, getting yeah. better with having actual stars in right? these things. So. This has William Hope, Shelley Varad, Jesse Steele. Oh, it's got Patrick Muldoon. Oh, the shit, that's, that's the guy from that's the guy from the soap opera that I was talking about. That's okay. Why, that's why I had him in my head with Something spiders, because he's in spiders. It's 3D. Kismet. We had to yes, <laughs> he had to be yes. involved. Oh my god. <laughs> and he's a guy with no brains in his head in Starship Troopers, right? At the end. Yes. Of, yeah. That guy. Got that him. guy. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Got him. <laughs> oh my so, gosh. Something that just triggered. I uh, just remembered my favorite line in this movie might be when, when the when rapey captain guy is like, "Is it locked?" <laughs> <laughs> Open the door. What's locked? Open the goddamn door! Oh, is it? I I totally didn't do that. I totally wasn't prepared oh, to, to force weird. anything upon you. <laughs> oh, is it locked? I love the idea that like a, a like you know turn crank style like submarine door has a lock from the inside that you can't unlock. 
right? No, you just, you turn the thing, you need to get like a little, little a screwdriver to, to put it in the <laughs> yeah. hole to, to pop the lock open. And that's how you get out. Coincidentally, <laughs> that's what he was trying to do. Exactly. <laughs> But I also want to talk about the director. It's directed by Sam Furstenberg, this movie, who did American Ninja and Cyborg Cop and Ninja yes. 3 Domination. I mean, just so many different. He did, he did a bunch of ninja movies, if movies. I'm not mistaken. Yes. yes. And, and more than one of those Cyborg movies, too, I believe. Yes, Cyborg 2 with Angelina Jolie. Yeah. Um, and it was written by Stephen David Brooks, who wrote the first one. I believe. Yeah. And that's the craziest did, part. The same screenplay yeah. guy for both. Yeah. I don't I wonder if he wrote the third one. Oh God, please. That would be amazing if he the did. Trifecta. I'm blown away. I can't believe there's a third one that I've never heard of. Oh, what, he what year did that come out? 2013. Uh, yeah. He oh, did. it's fucking Dang new. It. A new movie. You old <laughs> man. Oh, they take 11 years off. They come back with a sequel. Who's to expect? Not the me. The screenplay is written by Tibor Takax. That's that's the director. That sounds that's the director of The Gate. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's the director of this as well, of, of, of Spiders. Spiders, yeah. Mm. So, And I recognize that name from something else that I just talked about. Redline. I um, did Is the Bad Movie Night po podcast and, and he did Redline also. Cause mm. I'm like, I, I just heard that name when I was talking to someone else about movies. It is so. amazing and and, uh, and not not too strange when you think about it. A lot of bad movies are made by the same people. That's very true. <laughs> That's very true. Cause I don't go into bad. this. The Gate's a classic, how dare you? No, no, The, the Gate's not bad. But what I'm I mean is, is the circle of, The Gate's yeah. actually fantastic, but but it's also goofy and, and, and you could see how yeah. somebody he, could fall in that same did, realm. He also did The Mangler, so. Yeah. <laughs> No, and I think you know we did one of his other movies, and and we actually mm -hmm. said, oh, this guy was making like traditional movies, and then he yeah. got old, and he was just like Mansquito, and and started making like whatever. Fighters on a ship. Make. Yeah. Well, because you you hit a couple uh, of duds in a row, and then then you're like, oh, they're not giving me the good scripts anymore. This is what I do now. This random yeah. shit. I mean, he's he, they got a paycheck, got kids in college, they want braces, huh? Right. He's. I mean, he can competently shoot something, so I'm sure he he gets yeah. work. And sure. It's just the quality of that work he's given has gone down <laughs> yes I, but I, he's definitely a resourceful guy well this this director did um the one from this movie he did he did um break into electric boogaloo didn't he yes, and, and yes. uh he, he like he fell off as he went on like like as they as they Just do steadily but i i it. wrote down a movie that i hadn't seen but it sounds ridiculous enough that we could uh <laughs> it's called interplanet the interplanetary surplus male and the amazon women of outer space this was from 2003 wow. <laughs> and there's like very limited pictures there's a bad poster i was like oh a gem <laughs> <laughs> that sounds jemmy I recently discovered a gem that I'll be making a video about soon. I mean, Tease it's it now. <laughs> it'll be coming. I don't even want to give out the title. Oh, okay. I mean, there, this movie is not on IMDb. There's barely anything about it anywhere on the internet. There's a few clips on YouTube. That really but... says something about Exclusive. a movie if it's not on IMDb, because like our movies are right? on IMDb. <laughs> yeah, like, it's not. How bad must it's it be? Not, it's not, none, of the none of the actors that were in it claim it on their IMDb page. There's no page for it. Nothing. <sighs> So well, that's excited. even more interesting. Good I know. Actors so I can't... have IMDb pages and don't yes. care because horrible, oh, they're, horrible they're, movies. They're known for bigger things. Indeed. I mean, they're not they're not a list or anything like that, but they've been in bigger stuff, and it's uh -huh. not on their page. So I'm very that'll be coming soon. So stay tuned for that. I, I, I posted on I posted on Twitter that I found a gem, and everyone's like, "What is it? What is it?" I'm like, "I'll never tell." <laughs> <laughs> Just slap subscribe, hands. Subscribe to me and then you'll find subscribe out. Subscribe and find out. Yes, definitely. But I mean, any more thoughts on Spiders 2? I mean, no, like I, I thought it wastes a lot of time trying to be like a real movie. Like you like, yeah, like we mentioned other stuff like mm -hmm. under siege or whatever and all these things, all this yeah. intrigue and paranoia, all this crap. But like I really just wanted to go to the basement with Dr. Bull and, and yes. Im impregnate some like hostages. Like definitely. it really it really dragged and kind of like spiders one the middle was the good part here yes. like it was like the opposite or like not the opposite but like it drags for so long until what should be the good part and then mm -hmm. by then like it's it, like we're almost to the end when it's like okay spider giants is too big spiders too big now you had a perfect size and you like squandered it once like dr bull dies i i was just like checked out i was like i don't care about yeah that. even I mean, the they... little spiders would be a movie of those would be terrifying like mm -hmm. dog-sized spiders are 
big enough, especially when yeah. their one bite kills you via poison. Like, well, I mean, arachnophobia. I mean, those are big spiders, but they're not, you know, enormous. Yeah. And a majority of them are just normal sized spiders. Yeah, normal regular spiders that just don't live in the United States. Yeah, that's the difference between like narration and making a movie and having <laughs> actors. Like, you don't have to rely on cheesy things like uh, big CG garbage. I mm -hmm. think this movie's fun. I, I think it has much better actors in the first one, um, yes. but it has a, a worse plot. Yeah, uh, and and that hurts it. And it it was limited in its locations because it's on the water, so it can only yeah. have so much fun variation there, yeah. and and it's a lot of, of recycling of shots, and, and it is slow. But I yes. think ultimately this one probably gets what would get a better uh, like view just because you have like oh this actor and the person I know and people are actually going to yeah. watch this movie because mm -hmm. they're like oh there's something attached to it here. And since it's not really associated to the first one in any True. way, you don't need to see the first one. You don't um, need to be. Sure. But the first like <laughs> the first one's definitely more outlandish and fun as a movie. Yeah. Yes. But this one is is almost more competent just because the actors are actors. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, it's boring to watch them, though, because when you do sit down to watch a movie like this, you want the what the fuck factor. Yeah. And you're mostly after, asking during this movie, like, what the fuck are they doing? Let's get to the good shit. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> only bull uh you know like like captain knight on the cap dr knight court was like on yes. the page of the movie yes, with his overacting definitely. and, and yes. bringing it while everyone else was very serious spiders of my own creation and they are more vicious more cutting than anything that ever walked the face of the earth like that girl is a serious actor i think this is the only movie like this she's ever been in yeah so like it makes sense that like she got handed the wrong script thought something <laughs> else was going to come of this and was like yes i'm very serious I it was like a, it was like a lifetime movie and uh, 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 a really bad monster movie just got smushed together. Yeah, that's very accurate. <laughs> <laughs> Ultimately, I still enjoy it though. I, I, I say too. it's a fun movie to watch. There's There are scenes here that like you could watch on their own that mm -hmm. would be as entertaining as watching the whole movie. Yes. Uh, but yeah. because they're not just handy clipped out here every, everywhere to go watch, mm -hmm. you do have to suffer through uh, an hour and a half to, to catch all the joy. You gotta, you gotta suffer through the marital drama to get to the, the good stuff. <laughs> Much like life. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Did, oh, here, here's something I actually I should I should ask. So, so the the rescue people come. The uh, they, the SOS gets sent out, and mm -hmm. they say uh, like, oh, that stupid husband must have sent an SOS. Did they ever show that? Did I just yes. went through that? What he did. He did, he did a Morse was code. The... Oh, Whoa. was that what that was? I yes. thought that was just him checking the fucking thing. Okay, no, that's just I'm, me not that's... knowing what SOS is. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure he did the SOS on while the, he was the like mic. testing the radio. You're saying, yeah, he was doing more. Mm -hmm. holy shit, he was, he's a super spy. What the fuck? Right? Okay, he's a All little right. more clever. Okay, yeah. movie, you you got me there because I <laughs> I didn't catch that. I did see him <laughs> click it, but I don't know SOS. Yeah. So so I was just like like I thought he was just checking for like like a moron. I'm gonna be like, think, 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 is the dial tone there? And like, hmm. hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? I, I, unless I was just checking the radio, it worked. Yeah, so that, okay, that checks out. Cause I, I was like, did that happen in the dream sequence? Did that get cut out? Did that really happen? Did that prove the dream? Is that really, I'm like, I don't know. And the I only like reason this. I know the SOS Morse code is because of that SOS deter or uh, soap yep. dish commercial from the early 90s. <laughs> That's the only reason I know more. The Morse code. What is that like? Dun, 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 dash, dun, 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 Three quick dashes, three, three long, three short, mm. so. I think that's how most people know Morse code for SOS is because of that a commercial. That that detergent didn't even exist. Probably and it was not. only just to like raise awareness of, of doing SOS signals. If you're ever lost at sea on a spider lab ship, you need to know this. So we're gonna make this covert commercial. <laughs> Don't you think it's funny though? Like if I on land in the city called 911 and said, I need help. Sometimes they can't find where I am calling from. But a guy who's on a boat that is circling the ocean right? can just dot, 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 dash, dot, 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 whatever. And, and they come right to him <laughs> in the nick of time. The nick of time, very, very quickly. How they long did it came... take that spider to float back up? How long were they on a raft for? That's yeah. weird. But it did disprove the Titanic theory. Two people can fit 
on that sides of debris from that's <laughs> that's a modern door opposed to yeah. the old oh, door used see, to be like I heavy see. oaks like solid construction you know so so now the things are made way. of worse shit just styrofoam <laughs> and bullshit you could float all day but a lot better <laughs> now it's made of the stuff they put in the subway sandwich bread and it just floats subway eat fresh all right, that is going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for being my first guests on the channel. Thank you for setting this up and reaching out. It was such a blast to do. And like I said, we were talking about Spiders 2. You got to go over to their channel to check out uh, what we all thought of Spiders 1. But as for Lindsay and the Cannibal video guys, we are signing off and we'll check, check you later. later. <laughs> the end.